Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy November. I can't believe we're almost at the end of the year and Thanksgiving is just right around the corner. Um, I'm quickly going to film this and then any other cards that come along after this I'll have to merge in editing. But I wanted to show you this card that I made from the stamp set that's called um, Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. I used some digital gingham from Etsy in uh, like an emerald color and a very dark like coffee or espresso colored. And then I took some white venice and I grunged it up with this right here um, just to darken it and make it look vintage. And then I put the ground espresso on the edges of the card. And then I used some dyes from my Creative Time. I used some uh, Copics, and I believe there's a smidge of, yes, there is a smidge of Spectrum Noir. And then I used this beautiful chipboard piece from Hobby Lobby that I just picked up recently. And then I wanted to share with you um, this really neat buy from Amazon. It's called a stylus pen. And I was looking for something because uh, I, I do a lot of editing on my phone, a little bit on my computer. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be doing that anymore because of the brand new laptop that I got and not really understanding the photo editing software. So most likely it'll just be on my cell phone that I edit photos. And sometimes the software that I use does not remove uh, parts of the background. And, you know, trying to swipe with your big old Flintstone finger doesn't work. So I wanted to get this um, stylus pen and it's um, changed my life. <laughs> so um, you just turn it on right here. And then up at the top, this is magnetic, so it comes off, and you can stick a charging cord in it to charge it up when um, it starts to lose its power. So I just wanted to share that with you, and then um, I'm sure there'll be more um, projects after this, so stay tuned. My first project, unfortunately, I shipped out, so I'm doing a voiceover. So on this card that I made, I used an embossing folder by Spellbinders and then I inked over the entire embossed image with shabby shutters and then I inked the edges with ground espresso. Then I used the image from the Peace on Earth stamp set for Little Baby Jesus. For the sentiment I used from the One Birth stamp set, cut it out making a flag and then I inked it with wild honey and ground espresso. Uh, then I um, matted it onto my card base, which I love by Ohuhu, that is sold on Amazon if you love it. It's a really sturdy card base. That's my go-to. I hope you like it. And now let's get on with uh, my next project. All right, I'm here with uh, my next card. And I used uh, the paper pack from Not Too Shibby shabby shop um that's owned by jamie and this is called gingerbread kisses i used the image from diana markham and it's called nativity scene a and she designs exclusively for adorn it and i don't have all the stamp sets with me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my um link tree down below and you can click on that and it'll navigate you to adorn it just want to put that out there. I did the sky with tumbled glass, inked the edges with ground espresso, and then along the image, stamped image, I did ground espresso to give it like an aged look. Um, and here I was going for very light coloring to kind of reflect like it being watercolored. Um, and I didn't want to watercolor because it takes me forever. <laughs> but um, I think I got as close as possible to like a watercolor, very light imaging. I, I can't, I don't do well coloring in all dark, so forgive me. My third card, um, 
I again used gingham and this is from Colorive. It's a digital company on Etsy. I used this image here and I can't, I can't remember if I traced this or if I used a dye. I apologize. It's been quite a while. Um, and then I used this, um, this dye to cut out my base. I don't remember if it's Gina Marie or if it's my creative time. I apologize. Um, but it's like the torn edge. And then I used some trim that I bought from Amazon. I made a finger bow um, using some twine from Michaels. And then um, around the top edge, I used some tumbled glass to ink blend in. Um, so I think it came out really adorable. Okay, that was my third card. My next one is a tag that I used to cut out. Um, the die is from Erica's shop, um, Scrap Diva Design. Sorry, I had a blank moment there. And then I did the sky with tumbled um, glass by Tim Holtz. I used one um, stamp um, using the wise men. Um, it had more sayings, but I just wanted to use the wise men because that's um, what we have here. Um, and then I used um, Copics and Spectrum Noir, and then I got um, my blending um, pen from, I think it's Spectrum Noir, and I wanted to do like a water coloring thing, just did my best to blend out the colors, and I, I think I achieved that. And then I just lightly shaded um, the sheep here, and then these are Spectrum Noir, and I just think it came out so cute, and this will be maybe for my brother, my brother or my sister, I'm not sure. And then another finger bow up here. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then I made some ornaments. And these ornaments come from Hobby Lobby. It's their, I think you get like a pack of six. They're sold out. I went back this week to get more because I wanted to make some more for my family. Sold out. <laughs> I made a finger bow up here with some gingham ribbon. I think this is from Hobby Lobby. Um, this paper is Gingerbread Kisses, again, from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, this um, rolling pin is from My Creative Time, along with the Baking Memories. And this little cutie patootie is um, Diana Markham's little cute gingerbread. And I just shaded um, the measuring cup. Oh, uh, I can't. I think Spectrum Noir, yes. And then this is all Copics here with a little bit of a jelly pen. So I think this came out so cute. And this you can put on the tree, you can put it on your gift bag. But um, these are for me. I'm keeping them because I do have a, whenever I get my own place again with my husband, um, we have in storage um, gingerbread stuff for our tree. Um, this is another rolling pin from my creative time that I used to die cut and the stamp again gingerbread kisses from not too shabby shop adorable Diana Markham gingy another finger bow using grows gain uh, grow gain ribbon um so there is that ornament and then this one Diana Markham did a gingerbread and it's gonna a snow globe and what I did was I just did um some masking and then die cut just this part out without the rest of the um snow globe image this is from one of the Diana Markham stamp sets right here colored it up this bow is um from Hobby Lobby and this is um, another image from Diana's stamp set. I just kind of put them all together to create this. And I think it just came out so cute. So, so cute. And then I used um, jelly pen throughout here, even for the snow that might be hard 
to see, but this was so much fun to make. And then I have one last ornament. This again is from my creative time. And I just wanted to say, keep Emma in your prayers. Her shop, um, you can still do orders, but Emma won't be running her business for a few months because she's gravely ill. Um, so let's send her um, prayers, well wishes, positive vibes. Another Diana Markham cute stamp image. Um, I don't remember if I said this is from Not Too Shabby Shop Gingerbread Kisses. Finger um, bow. And this is, I believe, Hobby Lobby. And I love it. So I can't wait for Wendy to have my own tree again. Okay, this is from uh, Adornit's um, Recipe Stamp Club. Diana does some amazing um, stamps with recipes on them. So this little girl is an embellishment. She's either going to go on a card tag or I might even put her on a gift bag. I don't know yet. Um, and instead of coloring the whole thing up and using a lot of my alcohol ink, I decided to use... Um, I think it's from a hoo hoo, but don't quote me. Um, but I bought two different brown paper packs from Amazon. I think it was from the oh hoo hoo store, but I'm not sure. But I used two different browns to make my gingy so that I don't waste my ink. And then I just inked the edges with um, ground espresso. Um, and everything is paper pieced here. So there's different layers. There's probably, I think, maybe three, three layers. Um, and then I used my jelly pen to color in the icing and she's to me just adorable. And the, this, um, polka dot paper, um, I think this one is my, yeah, it's my creative time. Um, and I'm not sure if that one's the chef's kiss or not. I, I can't remember. Um, but it is from my creative time. So cute. And if Jill, if you're watching, maybe you can list the name of the paper pad. But she came out so cute. And um, this is still listed on the Darnet website. Um, so you can go over and buy it as of now. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this. Okay, so thank you all for watching. I will be back in a few more days to show some more um, stamp sets that I'm still designing with. And I hope you have a safe winter, safe holidays, and God bless you.